friends, my name is Katie and in today's video we are going to be upcycling some stained and ripped jeans and adding some big amazing graphic flowers to them since graphic flowers are huge this season and also anything with graphic flower material is very hard to find secondhand and is also just expensive firsthand right now. So for under $3, we are going to upcycle some pants and have lots of fun with it. So let's get started. Here are my jeans that I got from a local thrift store. They were actually going to have to throw these away because honestly, look at these. Nobody wants to buy these. They are so gross with all of their stains on them. But I thought, ooh, this is perfect for an upcycle because I love trash clothes like this. I've been wanting to add Add some awesome big graphic flowers to some clothes for a while now and I thought these pants were absolutely perfect they fit super well so I was like ooh. Yes, so I'm gonna take my tulip paint that is meant for fabric, and fabric paint is a little different than your regular acrylic, because regular acrylic paint in this format will actually start to crack and break after long wear, whereas the fabric paint is meant for fabric, so it's going to be able to bend and flex a little bit better. Now the caveat to this is that I didn't actually have any white paint, I don't have a clue where my white fabric paint went, so I did end up mixing some white acrylic with the colors, that way would give it more of a dull like vintage vibe versus having the colors be like super bright. So I'm just going to go all the way around all of these flowers, painting them in and give you just some aesthetic painting vibes. After the paint has dried, I'm just gonna find some cylindrical items around my house and I'm going to make big circles for their middles and just paint those with either white or yellow paint. That way they really look like vintage flowers. And that's really all there is to this tutorial. This is so simple, but man, these pants are fun. They're just so much cooler than having boring jeans and I think these would pair well with so many things. So happy crafting. That is all for the actual tutorial portion of this video. I know it was a short one, but sometimes crafts do not need to take you forever. Sometimes upcycling can actually take me under an hour versus a lot of my upcycles take just literally forever because <laughs> I'm also just slow. I'm a slow procrastinator. This video was inspired by the fact that big graphic flowers are just happen to be in style right now. And also I just really wanted some big bright pops of color. It'd be super fun to wear to work versus 
versus just wearing my yoga pants, which is what I've been currently wearing. I also think this is a great way to upcycle any clothing items that you guys might have that have stains or rips or tears in them. Because while I was at my local thrift store, they had actually received the pants that I'm wearing in question. And they cannot sell these products. They normally just have to throw anything away that's too worn or has rips or has tears because honestly, nobody wants to buy them or at least normal people don't want to buy them. I want to buy them because I want to trash them. So if you guys have any clothing that does have stains, rips, or tears in them, I would suggest first trying to see if you can upcycle it like this video. Second, there are stores that will take cloth materials like H&M and Madewell and they will recycle them into like insulation. Or third, seeing if you can just simply give them away on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that to crafters like me who just want to hoard free crap and want to also upcycle them because if you end up donating stained or ripped clothing to thrift stores, they literally throw them away. They literally throw them in the dumpster. And I don't understand why people still continue to donate this kind of stuff. Maybe it's just a lack of knowledge out there or just the fact that people sometimes don't care, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But if your clothing is stained or ripped, Find it a new life first because thrift stores literally can't sell them. That is all for my soapbox for today. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below because I make lots and lots of DIY and lifestyle and thrifting videos. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.